Hey there, Chris Sev from Better Dev here. In this video, let's talk about how Tailwind helps us build responsive websites and apps really nicely. So here I'm on the tailwindcss.com homepage. I scroll down and one of the big features of Tailwind is that it's mobile first, responsive, everything. Um, so if we go down here, you can see that as I scroll and kind of shrink this, it stacks on itself and it becomes really mobile friendly. It kind of looks like an app. And if I stretch it out to the right here, it gets to be like a desktop size. It gets to use all of the room that is given to it. So let's talk about how we can actually do this design. I'll go up to the docs right here. Let's go all the way up, go to the docs, search for responsive. And this is one of the core concepts of Tailwind. Now, the cool thing is, is that responsive design gives us a couple different breakpoints. They're small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL. So small and medium are kind of the phone sizes. Uh, medium to large is the tablet. And then large and higher is going to be your desktop sizes. So we can target each specific device pretty quickly thanks to these nice breakpoints. The cool thing also is that you can customize these breakpoints if you want, but we won't really deal with that in this video. So down here, if we have an image, this is how we can use these cool responsive classes. And I'm going to go down here. We can say, hey, at medium width, I want you to be 32. On large sizes, I want you to be 48. And then anything other than that is 16. So 16 default. And that's why we say mobile first design, because your default is going to be what people see on their mobile devices. And then if we go up to the medium, you see 32. So it gets larger as we go to the larger screen sizes. So that's using the Tailwind CSS uh, helpers in a nutshell. It's basically you just use the Tailwind classes and you prefix it with one of these responsive breakpoints. So here I have a brand new code pen. I just did a click into the settings here. I went down and added Tailwind as one of our um, style sheets. So just click Tailwind and that'll add the Tailwind style sheet and we're ready to roll. One of the most common examples of responsive design is that if we're mobile first, then something is gonna stack on each other. And then as we go up to the larger screen sizes, it starts to spread and kind of take up more columns. So right here, what we have is a left and a right column, but right now they're stacked on top of each other. So nothing really happening when we go from small to large screen sizes. What we can do though, is we can wrap all of this in a div and I'll just write div here and I'll close this div right here. And I can say over here, class is gonna be flex. So since it's class of flex, they're gonna sit side by side and anything that is a child of a flex div, where this is display flex, it's gonna sit side by side. But on mobile, check this out, we don't really want them to kind of sit side by side, they would take up too much room. So what we can do here is say, okay, I only want them to sit side by side on large screens. And normally they're gonna sit on top of each other. So as I stretch this out, get to that large breakpoint, there we go. Now they sit on top of each other. You can probably change this out for medium if you want it to break and go to columns a little earlier. So there's columns and there's the breakpoint right there. So that's how you do that in a nutshell with the medium colon class or the helpers. You can use small, large, all of those. What I wanna do next is I wanna build something out a little bit more real world, something you'd see in your own projects. So here, let's change this out to a yellow background. Let's go for 300. This padding 32 is pretty large. Let's drop that. Let's drop this text center. And let's drop this medium flex. Okay, so we have two columns again. In this one, I'm gonna do an H2. And let's give this H2 a text of black, text for XL. And let's go for font bold. And in the text, I'm gonna say, whoa, responsive. And I'm using Emmet to do all of that. And I hit tab and it auto completed all of that thanks to Emmet, a uh, HTML helper. And I've got a free course on Emmet. I'll link to that in the uh, description below. So there's an H2 there. Let's do a P tag real quick. Let's go for text 
large and text gray at 900. Um, responsive can be done using Tailwind. Okay, and I've got these background white, so let's drop these, both of those actually. Cool. So nothing really happening yet. We just have an H2 and a P tag. So on this right column, let's go ahead and just create a black square. And I'm going to say div uh, width is full, H is 64, rounded large, um, shadow 2XL, background is black. And on, this doesn't really matter right here. I'm just doing this so we can get something good looking here. There we go. Okay, so we are going to say, let's make this mobile first friendly. And to do that, let's just give this a padding of 10 all the way around. Okay, so that looks pretty decent right there. Um, one thing left, let's just do a little bit more style. Let's go margin bottom of this on 10. And uh, that should be good. That's actually really large. Let's go for four. Okay, so since we still have this div that encompasses our left and right columns, I want to go ahead and say, okay, right now on mobile, you can stay stacked on top of each other. But on mobile, we probably want some spacing here. So we can actually do space Y of 10. And that's a really fun Tailwind class where we can get some spacing in between all of the children. And I can do a video on that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. So we have that right there. But as we go to larger screens, we probably want these two to sit side by side, right? So I'm gonna say, okay, on medium, we used Flexbox in the last example. Let's use grid here. So I want it to be a medium grid. Now that won't do anything because with CSS grid, you have to define columns. And I've got a Tailwind CSS grid video that you can check out also. But here, let's go for medium grid columns of two. So now on medium, these two will sit side by side. So that works out nicely. And then also, I probably want this to sit in the middle of this whole thing. So I can say over here, medium flex and medium flex column and medium justify center. And those three together will center it vertically. There we go. So flex box is really easy to do in Tailwind classes as well. But there you have it. So we have the ability to go to a desktop size and go down to mobile responsive thanks to our medium colon right here. And we could even take this a step further. If we get to smaller devices, this is really large of a text size. We can say, okay, I want normally text 2XL and text 4XL only happens on medium screens. And then you could even go further and say only on large screens do I want text 6XL. So as we go here, there we go, super large on large screens and uh, all the way down to mobile. And you could do the same for the P tag here. I'm gonna say on medium is text large. Anything else is just gonna be the default size for our paragraphs. So there you go. We're able to build a two column layout. We're able to change out the uh, text sizing, the columns that we're creating, the spacing that we're creating all through Tailwind. And I believe here we probably want to get rid of space Y10 when we go to these larger screens. So I'm going to say medium space Y of zero. So that's how you can reset a size that you created on mobile when you get up to the larger sizes. And the cool thing about this too is that these responsive classes apply to more than just grid columns, flex box, layout, and text sizing. You can actually just change this out also for, let's say, medium. Uh, background of red at 400. I don't know how good this is going to look. Maybe purple will be better. All right, check that out. And at purple, there it shows we actually have ward here that I forgot about. The responsive classes can apply to all of the classes in Tailwind, and you can customize the breakpoints if you need. But that, in a nutshell, is how you can quickly take the built-in Tailwind prefixes and start making your sites responsive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.